everyone we are going to discuss about sterilization and disinfection techniques so it is one of the most important topic in microbiology subject okay so let's see it so microorganisms are universally present and if given opportunity they contaminate everything but in microbiology studies it is necessary that these unwanted microorganism must be controlled so that they cannot contaminate the laboratory equipment materials etc so the control of such undesired microorganisms is achieved by a technique called sterilization okay and this sterilization is a word derived from the latin word called sterilis which means barren barren means unable to produce offspring so now coming to the definition of the sterilization the process of complete inactivation of all metabolic activities of microorganisms so here i have given you uh, in a very easy manner but actually you are going to have the inactivate all metabolic activities of microorganism including their spores is being called as sterilization so other definition for this uh, sterilization is as a complete elimination or killing of microorganisms including their spores and making the material free from them is going to be called as sterilization so this uh, sterilization can be done in two methods okay so one is going to be called as physical methods of sterilization and second one is chemical methods of sterilization so here the physical methods of sterilization is going to be achieved by the usage of sunlight drying heat method filtration and radiation then the chemical method of sterilization is also called as disinfection okay and that can be done by the application of all these chemicals like uh, alcohols aldehydes dyes halogens etc and we will discuss in detail about the physical methods of sterilization and in the chemical uh, methods of sterilization okay so let's see the thing first of uh, about the physical methods of sterilization so what is a physical method of sterilization so here this physical method of sterilization is uh, majorly depends upon the nature of uh, organisms okay so in general we are going to use the sunlight i told you then the heat okay then here also it's a kind of heat but heat it is a dry heat method and it is going to be the moisture method types of heat and then filtration and then by radiation so these are the different types of uh, physical methods of sterilization that we are going to discuss in detail okay and this physical methods are uh, going to be very useful uh, to sterilize the food uh, food our food for example take milk okay then pharmaceutical or surgical material to control the microbial growth in pre uh, in preparation areas and equipments were preparing sterile products so in all those concepts this physical methods of sterilization is going to be uh, used for the sterilization purpose and then coming to the physical methods of sterilization are being classified into several types okay so we will discuss all these uh, types in detail in the different parts in the coming different parts so let's see the first one heat so here as i told you the heat is going to be of uh, two types dry heat sterilization and then moist heat uh, uh, sterilization methods so in the dry heat where there will be no question of water involvement so that's how we call it as dry heat the best example is going to be red heat flaming incineration hot air balloon. what are the all these things we'll discuss okay then coming to the moist heat sterilization we are going to have a uh, below 100 degrees of uh, moist heat sterilization at uh, 100 degrees uh, centigrade temperature and above 100 degrees of moist so moist includes the water involvement here okay the, either it may be in the steam form or direct water form whatever it may be so here we are going to have this classification then the second type that we are going to discuss is a radiation so we had the two types of radiations non ionizing radiation and uh, ionizing radiation so non ionizing and ionizing how these are involved in the physical sterilization uh, process then come in the filtration yes the filtration also comes under the <coughs> physical methods of sterilization so different types of filters are being used to filter the substances which are 
heat sensitive okay so that also we'll discuss in detail in one of the part so in this part we are majorly going to discuss about the heat in which also dry heat sterilization in the coming part we will discuss about the moist heat sterilization okay so let's go with the first one dry heat sterilization so what is a dry heat sterilization so this uh, dry heat sterilization is majorly going to affect the microorganisms by uh, different uh, what we call it as by different actions like uh, cell wall injury so that means this dry heat is going to damage the cell wall and it is also able to damage the cell membrane and it is inactivating the enzymes we know that if you are going to have the heat of any food or anything it is not going to have the uh, proper taste or anything that's all because of the inactivation of the enzymes that are present in it and this heat is also going to interfere with the structural and function of the dna all these things okay so because of all these uh, principles that are behind uh, this physical methods of sterilization this is being used to remove or eliminate or kill the microorganisms from the substance or inside the substance okay so let's see all these types one by one in detail okay the first one is going to be the sunlight so here the sunlight poses the bacterial activity because of uh, presence of uv rays and heat okay so we know that uh, from the sun we'll get a uh, plenty of heat and then obviously uv rays also okay and it plays an important role in the spontaneous sterilization so if you want to uh, have any spontaneous sterilization it is better to keep immediately in the sunlight hot sun okay then the second one is the drying and we all know that the microorganisms require uh, the moisture content for their growth so obviously they have to be uh, if you are going to remove the moisture that means indirectly you are not allowing the microorganisms to grow so we have to remove the moisture content by a method of drying but this is not much effective because pores are being unaffected by drying so example if you see uh, our mothers at home is going to keep the things like uh, some sort of a seeds everything in the sun even the farmer is going to dry the paddy in the sun hot sun because to remove any moisture content that is present in it such that it can be preserved for longer time then the third one that we are going to discuss is about heat so heat is most widely used method of sterilization that we know and this sterilization of heat is going to be of two types so one is going to be the dry heat sterilization and the one is the moist heat sterilization so dry heat obviously we are going to have uh, the principle behind this dry heat is going to be uh, coagulation and denaturation of proteins then injury to the cell wall as well as the cell membrane then by the oxidative damage so these are the things that is happening when we are subjecting an article or a material to dry heat sterilization okay then uh, the next thing that we are supposed to discuss is the different methods that are being used in the dry heat sterilization or types of heat so we are having the different types the first one is going to be the dry uh, red heart so this red heart is majorly used to sterilize our uh, needles uh, nowadays the needles are not going to be used but some sort of a pointed needles can be used it's not injecting needles okay it have to be incinerated so the needles inoculation loop points of forceps um, spatula and then uh, we are going to have uh, holding them in the flame of a Bunsen burner until they are seen to be red heart. So here you can see the picture where you are going to have the red heart of this uh, inoculation loop. And inoculation loop is a type of a spoon that we are using in the microbiology laboratories to transfer our cultures or to inoculate our cultures okay so for that purpose it have to be sterilized so what's the way of sterilization of inoculation loops is by the red heart then coming to the flaming so flaming is used to destroy uh, especially uh, vegetative organisms on the surface of glass slides cover slips cover glasses and mouths of the culture tubes and the flask so just we will pass through the flame so that it is not going to be red heart just the heat is going to be uh, uh, applied to it and then come in the incineration uh, here in the incineration the 
articles are directly uh, kept in the flame where we can't reuse it they are being burnt off literally they are going to be burnt off so the contaminated cloths or infected cloths cotton wool stoppers animal cases and pathological materials are going to be directly burnt in the flame okay so for this incineration we require a incinerators and then coming to the next one is the hot air oven so i said there are four types of uh, uh, heat uh, dry heat so where we are going to have one is a red heart then we are going to have the flaming then we are having the incineration and then we are moving to the next one hot air oven which is very very important in this dry heat sterilization so the dry heat sterilization is carried out in an electrical chamber called as hot air oven. So it's a chamber where we are carrying the sterilization by using this hot air oven. So that's why we call it as hot air oven. Okay. And coming to the uh, instrument description. So here uh, is the instrument. Okay, so if you look at this, it consists of a double wall chamber. That means this instrument is made up of double wall chamber and it is going to be fitted by electrical heating elements. And these elements are getting heated up when we pass on the electricity. Okay, and a fan is fitted inside to evenly circulate the hot air ever inside the chamber. So once you kept all the articles inside it, you will close the door and you are going to control the temperature at which you want to have so generally the sterilization temperature of hot air oven is going to be of uh, 160 degrees for two hours or 170 for one hour or 180 for 20 minutes so these are the general applications of the temperature for sterilization with the hot air oven so you'll close the door so once you close the door you'll switch on the uh, switch so where slowly the electricity passes so with the help of that electricity the heating elements get heated up and it is generating the heat so now the total air that is present in the chamber gets heated up now the fan that is featured inside will circulate that hot air away throughout the articles that are present inside this chamber okay and uh, for the proper sterilization as i told you the holding temperature and the holding time out this one 160 for 2 170 for 1 hour and 180 for 20 minutes okay then what's the principle behind this uh, hot air oven means uh, uh, obviously i told you what is the dry heat principle that the same thing applies to this hot air oven also coagulation and denaturation of proteins oxidative damage and then toxic effects of elevated levels of electrolytes so these are the things that is going to happen to the microorganisms when we apply the hot air oven type of sterilization okay then coming to the advantages and disadvantages of this hot air oven there's a best method for sterilizing our glassware such as test tubes petri dishes flasks, pipettes and instruments such as forceps, scalps and scissors. It is also used to sterilize some pharmaceutical uh, products such as liquid paraffin, dusting powder, fats and the grease. Then there will be some disadvantages also obviously. Uh, what is the main disadvantage means it's a very slow process. It takes hours together. As I told you here it's of two hours, one hour, isn't it? Um, here it's a slow process it is not suitable for heat sensitive materials like plastic rubber media and alcoholic etc so we cannot sterilize our media culture media okay and we cannot sterilize our plastic substances we cannot sterilize the rubber products all these things so these are the few disadvantages of this hot air oven so this is how we have finished the first type of uh, heat method that is dry heat method where we again discussed about the four types that is of uh, red heart then flaming then we have gone through the incineration then the hot air oven so this is all about the dry heat sterilization in the next part we will continue with the second type of the heat sterilization that is moist heat sterilization thank you